Hello doctors, welcome to Medico's Diary. This is our second series of sure short MCQs. Our MT entrance exam date is already announced. So daily workout MCQs is the best method to beat the entrance. So be active. Don't be panic. Everything will be safe in your hands. Okay, today I select surgery for our discussion. Ready with your pen and diary? Okay, let's start. First one, what is the abscess situated in the retroperitoneal? Options A. Subphrenic abscess B. Pancreatic abscess C. Pelvic abscess D. Perineal abscess Answer Option B. Pancreatic abscess Pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ, so abscess developing in the pancreas will also be retroperitoneal. A pancreatic abscess is ill-defined liquid collection of pus that evolved over a longer period, often 4 to 6 weeks. Next one. Exposure treatment of burns is indicated in Options A. Burns of the face and neck B. Burns of the lower limb C. Burns of the head D. Burns of the trunk Answer Option A. Burns of the face and neck. First of all, we have to know what is exposure treatment. In case of burns, the wound after the application of the ointment is left uncovered, exposed to air. This is called exposure treatment. For burns in head, face and neck and sometimes for burns involving only one surface of the trunk, exposure treatment is done. If both side of the trunk is burnt, then exposure treatment cannot be used because both surface of the trunk cannot be exposed to air simultaneously. Okay, next one. What is the treatment of breast abscess? Options A. Aspiration B. Breast pump C. Incision and drainage D. All of the above Answer Option C. Incision and drainage in case of breast abscess, first step with the appropriate antibiotics and second step IND is done. That is incision and drainage is done. The presence of pus can be confirmed with a needle aspiration and the pus analyzed for the infection and for cytology. Most cases are caused by which organism? It is the Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, next one. Murphy sign is positive in Option A. Cholelithiasis B. Liver abscess C. Amoebic hepatitis D. Infective hepatitis Answer Option A. Cholelithiasis Murphy sign means a moderate pressure is exerted just below the right costal margin on the lateral border of the right rectus muscle. The patient is now asked to take a deep breath in. The gallbladder descends and hurts the examining finger. The patient will immediately wince with a catch in the breath if the organ is inflamed. This is a sure sign of cholelithiasis. So, Murphy sign is positive in cholelithiasis. Okay, next one. Regarding dry gangrene, consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is caused when arterial obstruction is gradual. Statement 2. Affected area is swollen, discolored and foul smelly. Which of the statements given above is correct? Option A. 1 only. Option B. 2 only. Option C. 1 and 2. Option D. Neither 1 nor 2. Answer. Option A. 1 only. In dry gangrene, results from Gradual occlusion of the arterial circulation, mostly seen in atherosclerosis. The affected part become dry and wrinkled, discolor, discolored from disintegration of hemoglobin and very greasy to touch. Generally, elderly persons above 50 years of age are affected. Lower limbs are commonly involved. Straight x-ray may reveal calcification of the arterial wall. Patient with bilateral internal iliac occlusion may complain of importance, which is known as Lerch syndrome. Okay, next one. 
what is the ideal site for biopsy from an ulcer option a floor of the ulcer b center of the ulcer c surrounding tissue d periphery of the ulcer with adjacent healthy tissue answer option d periphery of ulcer with adjacent healthy tissue biopsy is far the most important investigation of a swelling this is particularly done in cases of suspected malignant tumors the biopsy is generally taken from the margin of the tumor don't forget that biopsy is generally taken from the margin of the tumor there are various method of biopsy for example needle drill punch open okay next one most common benign parotid tumor is option a warthing's tumor b hemangioma c lympho lymphangioma d pleomorphic adenoma option answer option d pleomorphic adenoma pleomorphic adenoma is the commonest tumor of the major salivary glands it can arise from the parotid submandibular or other minor salivary glands there are slow growing tumors and may be quite large at the initial presentation and usually seen in the third or fourth decade with a more in females they they are called mixed tumors so pleomorphic adenoma otherwise called mixed tumors because both epithelial and mesenchymal elements are seen on the histology okay next one brody's abscess is seen in option a acute osteomyelitis b subacute osteomyelitis c osteoma d osteoclastoma answer option b subacute osteomyelitis brody's abscess is a localized form of infection which is usually situated at the metaphyses of the long bone this condition is usually caused by which organism staphylococcus of low virulence the patients are usually between 10 to 20 years of age the commonest site are upper end of tibia lower end of femur lower end of tibia and the upper end of humerus according to frequency okay next one all are indication of thyroid surgery except options a hypothyroidism b toxic nodular goiter c neoplasm d pressure to adjacent organ answer option a hypothyroidism clinical indication for thyroidectomy are thyroid cancer thyroxic thyroid nodule that is that produce too much of thyroid hormones multi nodular goiter especially if there is a compression of the nearby structures graves disease especially if there is exophthalmus present okay next one murphy sign is seen in option a acute appendicitis b acute pancreatitis c chronic hepatitis and d acute cholecystitis answer option d acute cholecystitis actually we already discussed this question murphy sign just below the right costal margin of the lateral border of the right rectus if pressed and the patient is asked to breathe in deeply then he will suddenly wins with a catch in the breath this is positive sign of cholecystitis okay we may be confused with murphy syndrome what is murphy syndrome it is a triad found associated with acute appendicitis that triad is the sequence of symptom is pain vomiting and temperature don't forget that don't confuse with murphy sign and murphy syndrome okay hope you understand I will try my maximum to select more sure shot sure MCQs so subscribe my channel for the regular updation and work out the MCQs thoroughly okay if you like my video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share to your colleagues thank you